It doesn't matter if she is attractive. It doesn't matter if she has a good job. And it really doesn't matter how long you guys have known each other. If you keep allowing these behaviors from your partner, whether she is your wife, your girlfriend, or whatever is in between, you will never find true happiness. Today, let's talk about some things a man should never tolerate from anyone, no matter who that person is. First of all, never tolerate someone who makes you feel bad about yourself. If your partner is constantly making you feel bad at yourself, or if she belittles you or bully you, then I'm afraid it's time to distance yourself. As the Stoics say, no man is free who is not master of himself. In any relationship, romantic partnerships included, the way you feel about yourselves can be significantly influenced by the attitudes and behaviors of your significant other. It is essential to recognize when your partner's actions consistently chip away at your self-esteem and sense of worth. When she consistently belittles you or resorts to bullying tactics, it not only damages your self-confidence but also erodes the foundation of trust and respect necessary for a healthy relationship. No one deserves to feel diminished or unworthy in the presence of their partner. Stoic wisdom reminds us that true freedom lies in mastering our own reactions and surroundings. If her behavior undermines this mastery, it's a clear sign that something is amiss. By allowing such treatment to persist, you surrender your autonomy and allow external forces to dictate your happiness and sense of self-worth. Choosing to distance yourself from a toxic partner is an act of self-preservation. It's an acknowledgement of your inherent value and a refusal to accept anything less than the love and respect you deserve. It's not an easy decision, but it's one that ultimately paves the way for personal growth and fulfillment. In the words of the Stoics, no man is free who is not master of himself. So, if a relationship impedes your ability to master yourself and thrive, it's time to bravely step away and reclaim your freedom. Your happiness and well-being are worth prioritizing above all else. Being cheated on or disrespected by a partner is absolutely unacceptable. Love and support can't justify betrayal. As Seneca puts it, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. If she finds the nerve to cheat on you, do yourself a favor and leave her be. Betrayal cuts deep, and no amount of love or support can rationalize such a breach of trust. Seneca's timeless words remind us that true happiness stems from embracing the present moment and not tethering our well-being to uncertain futures. Infidelity shatters the very foundation of a relationship built on trust and mutual respect. It's a stark betrayal of the vows and promises shared between you and your partner, inflicting profound emotional pain and irreparable damage to the bond you once cherished. Choosing to walk away from a partner who has betrayed your trust is an act of self-preservation and self-respect. While love may linger, allowing yourself to remain in a relationship tainted by infidelity only perpetuates the cycle of hurt and undermines your sense of worth. Seneca's wisdom encourages us to prioritize our present happiness and well-being. By acknowledging the betrayal and choosing to move forward without the burden of anxious dependence on a future that may never come, you reclaim your agency and pave the way for genuine healing and growth. Leaving a partner who has cheated is not an easy decision, but it's one that affirms your self-worth and dignity. It's an assertion that you refuse to settle for anything less than the honesty, loyalty, and respect you deserve in a relationship. In the face of betrayal, Seneca's words resonate deeply. True happiness lies in embracing the present with courage and resilience. So, do yourself a favor and have the courage to walk away from anyone who finds the nerve to betray your trust. You owe it to yourself to pursue a future built on integrity, honesty, and genuine happiness. Never tolerate your partner seeking validation from others by flirting or showing off her body. Seeking external approval is a dangerous game that leads to dissatisfaction for both parties. If her self-worth is subjective on the approval of others, it is only a matter of time before she does something really inappropriate to hurt or belittle you all in the name of gaining the approval and seeking validation from others. Seeking validation from external sources, especially through flirtation or flaunting one's body, can sow seeds of discontent and instability within a relationship. It's a precarious path that often leads to hurt and betrayal. When she seeks validation outside the relationship, 
Whether through flirtatious behavior or overt displays of physicality, it undermines the trust and security that should be the bedrock of any partnership. It suggests a fundamental insecurity or dissatisfaction within oneself, which, if left unchecked, can manifest in destructive ways. The danger lies not only in the immediate act of seeking validation, but also in the potential for escalating behavior that will disregard your feelings and well-being. If her self-worth becomes contingent upon the approval of others, it's only a matter of time before boundaries are crossed and hurtful actions ensue in the pursuit of that validation. Choosing to tolerate such behavior sets a precedent that compromises your own dignity and self-respect. It's essential to recognize the inherent worth and value within yourself, and to expect the same level of respect from her. Never allow her to control you. Your autonomy and happiness as a man is paramount and should be subjected to your own will and no one else's. Seneca's wisdom echoes through the ages, emphasizing the importance of seizing control of one's own destiny and not allowing external forces to dictate one's path. In a relationship, it is crucial to recognize when your boundaries are being crossed and your individual agency is being compromised. Whether your partner is your wife or girlfriend, allowing her to exert control over your decisions and actions undermines the fundamental principles of equality and mutual respect. A healthy relationship is built on a foundation of mutual support and partnership. Allowing someone else to dictate your choices and behaviors diminishes your sense of self-worth and stifles your personal growth and fulfillment. Seneca's philosophy reminds us that true happiness comes from living in accordance with our own values and desires, not bending to the will of another. It's essential to assert your autonomy and set clear boundaries to ensure that both you and your partner can thrive as individuals within the relationship. While compromise and cooperation are integral to any partnership, they should never come at the expense of your own happiness and well-being. It's essential to communicate openly and assertively with your partner, ensuring that both parties' needs and desires are respected and honored. In conclusion, stand firm in your values and refuse to tolerate anything that undermines your well-being and happiness. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. If you found this discussion helpful, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Your engagement helps us continue to create valuable insights and discussions on important topics like relationships and personal growth. Thank you for watching, and remember to prioritize your happiness and autonomy in all aspects of your life. See you in the next video.